Star Radio is live with John Anthony, Angelica, and Regina. And you're live now on the air with your host, Regina. Angelica. And John Anthony. And um, we have a great show ahead for you. We have um, a special guest designer, a faith diva, uh, designer Tina Peters King. Hey, Tina. Hello. How are you, gorgeous? I'm wonderful. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. Um, we also, the second hour, we're going to have Love Pass Blue on. They'll be playing for us and singing and all that good stuff. So let's just do a little quick recap from last week. Um, Angelica? Uh, yes, we did have a really cool artist come on the show from Septian Entertainment Group. He sang a few of his orig- a couple of his originals. Um, and that was really good. And we also had, um, oh my gosh, I can see your face. The first hour. I, oh my God, I can see your face. I just don't remember your name. Um, but we had a couple of great people come in and their families and everyone who was calling in to support them. Um, and it's always great to see the support, not only by the callers, but the people who are commenting on the videos. Um, but it was it was a good show last week, and we kind of touched on a few hot topics and new music and things like that. Yes, we really enjoyed it. Um, we always enjoy all of our special guests that we have on the air and that we're blessed to be able to meet and, um, you know, interview and promote and all that good stuff. Um, we had a Tisha Owens of, um, of the Where Are You? Uh, outreach the the ministry that outreach ministry for the homeless people um she's an amazing lady very she was very sweet yeah she was gorgeous inside and out you know her right yes i do we talked about you a little bit <laughs> we did uh-oh we just mentioned See? you uh-oh <laughs> <laughs> no we just mentioned you and the fact that she knew who you were yes. and w- yeah i knew who she's walked for me she's amazing yes she is she's an amazing woman inside and out we got to really get to know her and and know where where and why this organization was even built um so it was really cool so y'all make sure to go check that out um her her organization which is at um www.whereareyououtreach.org if you want to get involved with the community and help and give back to the homeless um, that's a good way to start so um, and also Jax Wyatt go check him out he's an amazing young artist um, up and coming so yeah that's just a quick recap from last week so um, we are still going on um, this is our second uh edition of the gearing up to the um pin show we're going to be doing that with um the diva herself tina um today um she's going to be talking about her collection and her designs um with faith diva so anyhow let's go ahead and jump into some uh to our round table what do we have this week does anybody have anything going on this week that y'all want to talk about john anthony i know that you've started a new venture with youtube why don't you go ahead and tell us what that concept is about and what you're doing on your youtube channel and what it is so everyone can start following you can i keep it excuse me can i keep it private (laughs) please Okay, right, so right. never mind. I'm just kidding, y'all. Just yeah. kidding. So anyhow, let's go ahead into some celebrity news. Um, what about this whole Selena Gomez and the weekend's Italian vacation that they've gone on? What do y'all think about that? Does anybody know about it? So apparently, it so apparently they they've like they're on this huge vacation in in, in Italy right now, Selena and, and it's like weekend? yes. So they're like putting it out there, you know, <coughs> it's no more secret. It's obvious that they're together and they don't care who knows now. So apparently it's like costing them $246,000 so far. Who is it? Selena Gomez. She's a pop singer and The Weeknd. He's uh. also a pop s- pop singer. Um, he's like considered pop R&B, mm-hmm. I guess. Yeah. I know when he started, he was... Um, I don't know if he've, he's changed it, his brand, to just being more pop. pop. But I know when he first started out, um, he classified himself, or whoever his managers were, classified him as an R&B pop artist. So um, we're going to hear a little clip from uh, E! News. You know how we love E! News. So we're going to hear a little clip about what they're saying about these two. 
Love bugs. There are custom new photos from Selena Gomez in the weekend's uh, trip to Italy. Let's roll through them while Zuri here tells us uh, <laughs> where in Italy they've been hanging out. Oh my gosh, where haven't they been hanging out is easier to list. So they started last week, last Friday, they were in Florence <laughs> being very highbrow. They were looking at Michelangelo's statue of David, so clearly they're fancy. And I just mm -hmm. want to point out, I feel like when a, a couple starts traveling together, that's a big deal. Normally you wait for that thing, you know, um, you take a few weeks. Yeah, I think that. I know they're like rich and famous and whatever, yeah. but they're spending a lot of time together very quickly. After Florence, they went to Venice on Sunday. They did the canal boat ride. There was a lot of museum hopping. But um, what's most important to me to point out, and I don't want this to be taken as a hater comment. Okay. Do the it. Body do it. language, right? So they've been doing all this stuff, which I think is a really good sign that they take each other seriously. But I just feel like Selena sort of is like always hanging on his arm or his her arms are around his neck, or she's like in this shot is just sort of clinging to his shoulder. Literally, if you crop Selena out, the weekend could still be like in a photo <laughs> on his own. <laughs> There's nothing that directly acknowledges her presence in well, any of these photos. Well, not last photo. Okay, oh. one photo. Uh, one photo. And okay. the last one where they were, uh, bring up the last one that we were just, yeah, that one. She she's could be gazing she's into the checking her phone. At the Florence water. I agree with them, like, don't you? She's kissing her and she's like, hmm, I wonder how many likes I have on this. On this, on this video of yeah. the weekend. How do we that get I'm back deleted? to the hotel from well, here? Let's yeah. keep it real, though. She does have a an image, I don't know if this is really the way it is, of being clingy, needy, and uh, at times desperate. That was the thing <gasps> that was going on with Bieber, because she kept going back, kept going back. He was being so like, <laughs> like abusive in a way, emotionally and stuff with her, and at least that's how it was interpreted. Okay, so yeah, if y'all go through these um, <laughs> photos, we put the link on our um, Facebook page so y'all can view and scroll through those photos. It does look like she's pretty clingy, pretty clingy, and it is her showing the affection. Wouldn't you say? <laughs> Just wow. What do you think Justin's saying right now? I don't know. Do you consider this a step up or a step down for her? I, I, I mean, think? I'm a believer. Down. So <laughs> I think it's a step down for her. I'm like down. Because yeah, I mean, even like in photos or quick snapshots of them together, there was mutual affection that was portrayed over the media. And even what they put out there themselves on their own social media. And this is very one-sided, which is not healthy for either party. Exactly. I, I would have to agree, looking at those photos. And not only that, the sad thing about mm -hmm. it is, is that she, I mean, if everybody recalls back, um, she went to rehab, and it wasn't like a drug <coughs> rehab or anything. It was like an emotional, like mental rehab, rehab type thing. After she, her and Justin finally, it was the last time they broke well, up. I think she's getting ready to have a relapse. Did y'all see those pictures? Yeah, <laughs> well, that's what that's what it's just like. So, I mean, I hope that's not the case, but it does look like it's going towards that. Yes. So, anyhow, that's just a little bit of celebrity gossip. I have um, a little bit about Katy Perry. Yes. Um, she's coming out with her shoe line a little bit sooner than expected. Um, as far as I know, it's just considered Carrie, Katy Perry shoes. I think that's just the name of it. Um, but it's coming out sooner. And like I said, it's in two weeks on February 16th. Um, it's very colorful. I kind of didn't expect anything uh, less. Um, there's different kind of style heels, very strappy ones, um, very spring, springy. I don't know if that's a word, but it is now. <laughs> um, but In fashion, anything goes. Okay, I like right? that then. Um, yeah. It's very springy, <laughs> colorful. Um, I, I like it. And there are some heels that were a little bit wider I might be able to wear. Who knows? Um, but it's launching sooner than expected. Cool. I love heels and I love Katy Perry. She has great <laughs> lashes. I yes. Uh, what do you have? Please don't let it be too controversial, Johnny Anthony. So, you know how he was talking crap to Obama about how he put troops in Germany and stuff? I don't. <laughs> okay. Well, he's going to leave them there. He's leaving the troops there? Yeah, like 100,000 troops there. I think the thing about it is, is, Johnny Anthony, what you need to learn and what you need to know in the political field, 
anybody, even Obama wanted to bring the tro- troops home. Everybody wants to bring the troops home. But the reality of life is, and it's been for since the beginning, is there's always going to be war ongoing. And it, it ju- it's just a matter of fact in life. So when you go off of what people are saying they're going to do in politics, that's your bad. Because you should know that nobody really knows what's going to happen or how they can bring those troops home yeah it's a dream for everybody to come home and there be no war and there'll be peace on earth that's not going to happen until um revelations happens and all that happens and there there's a hundred years of peace or you right. know it, and so it's not going to happen until that happens just period the end so if you're going to vote for somebody based on that you probably you're, you're probably going to get you know disappointed so that's the way i feel I could be totally off base, but that's how I feel. And in my, you know, adult life, I guess 20 plus years, um, I haven't seen it change. Am I cur- it, how do you feel, Tina, about that? I mean, come I, on. <laughs> I think that, um, especially now, because um, before I came here, I had a diva that uh, came to the house for fitting, and she's from Jordan. And so she actually left the airport from protesting and came to my house. And she shared a story with me um, while she was there about, um, I guess it's a friend of hers that's there at the airport. She went there for support. And his wife is there, and they have a new baby that's like six or seven weeks old. Mm -hmm. And um, they're not allowing them back in because of the band. They're still Mm -hmm. some of the people that are there being held. And the dads are wanting them to at least give them the baby. And... um, they won't. So this child has no milk, no diapers. They won't even let them give that them anything. That is crazy. I, I know. So I, I try to, when it comes to politics, I have my own beliefs. Um, I believe there's a such thing as uh, God allowed and God ordained. So I really don't care who's in office. I know who's on the throne. And, and Ex- I just, and I just pray for this country. Because when she was sharing that with me, all I could do was just sit there and say, Oh, my goodness. Is this truly what is this really happening? It's almost like watching a terrible, terrible movie play out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And uh, as they say, the plot just continues to to thicken. Uh, What I want people to know is what we just need to do. Just like in, in, in the Bible, when the children of Israel cried out to God, he heard their, their cries and their prayers. I think it's time for us to do the same thing. We all need to pray and, and to cry out. And, and God is the only person that can intervene and make you. everything better. From bringing the troops home to um, getting this malignant narcissist, which that's my opinion of who Mr. Trump is, um, because he just seems to have a total disregard for Hum- for humanity and people and their feelings and emotions. And, and you know what? That's him. Just pray for him. I'm not going to wish ill on him or anybody else, but yeah, I'm going to p- continue yeah. to pray for him because that's what we need to do as, yes. as Christians. Yes, I agree. And, and yeah, that I know a lot of people are talking really bad. And like I've told Johnny Anthony, you know, we, no matter what, whoever's in office, it says yeah. clearly in the Bible, yes. you um, are to respect. you know respect leadership no matter what, yep. and no and no matter what he is our president. Uh, however many fifty million people voted for this man to be our president, so you know it is what it is, and we we all we can do is pray, and that's, that's powerful. Very. I mean, that's a very. huge power that we have, and it's a free, it's free for us to do. We should be doing it daily, and, you know, daily. And it isn't about getting on your hands and knees and putting your hands together and not talking to nobody else, and just that's the only way you can pray. Everybody can pray as they feel comfortable praying is you being in your car and just talking yes. to him praying is you you it's know a conversation yeah it just is. you having and a conversation dialogue mm-hmm. yes he's all all everywhere he's um everywhere wherever you want him to be he's listening to you all the time so yeah pray for him pray for our, our country pray for each other and that's um that's all we can do that's all we can do yeah and that's actually and the prayer is power <laughs> Praying is power. Prayer is very powerful. So use it. Do it. Do it. (laughs) Okay. So (laughs) let's go ahead and wrap this up. Um, um, Thank you, John Anthony, for for your input. Thank you for that. Um, Did you have anything else to say on that? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's making girls have to draft to the military at 18. 
See, and that's something that I, I have to do more. I have to do research on that. I mean, I know you mentioned that. So wow. make sure you do your research. That's going to be, that's, I, I don't know. I, you know, I don't want to talk about something I don't know anything about. So um, from what just that statement, it just sounds ridiculous. But I mean, I don't know the it, whole story. Yeah. So, yeah, it does. so anyhow, do your homework, do your research, pray. That's what we're going to leave you with. We're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we're going to talk to Miss Tina Peters King yes. about her fashion diva, faith diva line. Okay. Okay. Johnny, what are you going to play for us? Mm, see you move your body. And make sure you stay tuned. Don't you change that cha- channel. Stay tuned to Jar Radio on the Fishbowl Radio Network in the Gray Bow. And we'll be back. Jar Radio is live with John Anthony, Angelica, and Regina. And you're back with Jar Radio on Fishbowl Radio Network. I'm John Anthony. I'm Angelica. And this is your favorite host, Regina. And we have <laughs> the beautiful, fabulous, talented, faithful gorgeous oh, I love amazing it. I love it. keep it coming keep it coming amazing mm-hmm. faith diva herself hello what's uh, your name keep, keep it coming keep it come on i said what's your name <laughs> <laughs> so, this is tina peters king yes th- thank you so much for putting that king on there i hope my husband is listening king so. yes oh, oh i remember yes. i have it on my paper <laughs> i have it everywhere i am not like, gonna get in king. trouble Okay. I'm not getting in trouble this time. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't want to get in trouble either. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we brought you here uh, because we wanted to talk to you about your design collection, um, everything that you do, who your, what your brand is, and, and all that good stuff. So we're going to go ahead and jump in and start, start getting into that portion of the interview and the, the day. Okay. So um, first of all, what is your brand name and why did you choose that name? Uh, my brand is Faith Diva. It stands for Father Almighty. I trust in Him because I'm divinely inspired, victoriously anointed, and appointed. It's one long acronym. I love that. I like that. it. <laughs> I'm like, I like it. Why did you Why, why did you choose that? I didn't. I uh, it chose me. <laughs> Actually, I, I prayed on it. I was going through a lot of different things in my life, and that's just the the name the Lord gave me was uh, Faith Diva. Um, I have to admit, I haven't always been one to um, be a, a true faith walker. I have a, a girlfriend of mine, I always called her a faith walker. She steps out there and she just blindly walks. And I always admired her for that. And uh, a few years ago, I developed the ability to be able to do that as well. I still struggle with it, but, you know, he's working on me daily. I'm getting there. I'm, mm. I'm getting there. Awesome. What would you classify your style of design as? It's more classy, um, sophisticated, a little bit of, um, I don't think there's anything risque in it, um, but I would definitely uh, classify it as, some people like to call it churchy. I don't think it's churchy. I don't think so. I don't think it's churchy. I've seen, I have I've seen your say, stuff, right? and I don't it's think it's churchy. churchy. Right? Some people call it churchy or first lady-ish or whatever. But I, I consider it to be classy and sophisticated. Mm-hmm. Um, and as you can tell, like most of the ladies that walk for me in the show, they all have a certain air of elegance and beauty, and mm-hmm. they each possess their own character. And uh, and personality, and I think that's what my designs are all about. It's about that design bringing mm-hmm. out the best in that woman. Mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah. Did you always know you wanted to become a designer? Since I was 13 years old, Johnny. Oh wow. Since I was 13 years old, and um, my mom uh, was a seamstress. <laughs> she sewed and made uh, evening gowns and everything, and she's the most amazing woman. And um, I knew that's what I wanted to be. And like most parents, um, she encouraged me to go a different direction. (laughs) Because she said, you know how hard of a business that is and how few people make it? You're going to go to college and get a business degree. Well, I I did that. I went to college. uh, uh, Still in college. (laughs) Going for something totally different now. But um, I ended up coming full circle because when God has an assignment and appointment on your life, he's going to bring that out of you. You're going to walk in your assignment. That's just what it is. We're all born with a purpose in our lives. And that was my purpose. And I'm walking in it. And I'm loving every step of it. 
That's Wonderful. awesome. I know. I love it. I, I know that you do not just clothing. You also design jewelry. That's how I was um, yes. blessed to meet you. And what drew me to you was your jewelry. And um, what, where, when did you, when did you take, when did your design aesthetics take a turn into actual clothing? In 2000 and this is 17, 2015. Wonderful. And um, the clothing actually surpassed the jewelry. We still do jewelry. Um, Amazing jewelry. Yeah. Thank you. (laughs) It's whatever the Lord gives me. We still do jewelry as well. Um, In the pin show, you'll actually see the clothing and they will have their uh, accessories there to complement them as well. So I got to work on both canvases. I'm really excited about that. I'm very excited about this line. And uh, so I started doing jewelry back in 2000 and um, basically 2008, just for fun. And then in 2010, when uh, my husband passed away, it just kind of took on a different meaning and a life of its own. That's awesome. So how does it feel to have been chosen to be a part of this amazing pin show? It is absolutely surreal because <laughs> <laughs> it really is. It's it's an honor. Uh, Julie and her team, Willie and, and those guys, they're absolutely amazing. Mm. And when I went in to interview and uh, the fact that I was chosen, I felt very blessed and very humble because we've only been designing for two years. Mm-hmm. And as you know, this show has been around for eight years and they have some of the best designers you know, on that runway, and to think that my little old bitty company gets to be graced. Little old bitty, <laughs> it is God's company. Anything I God know. Does well, is. yes, it, yes, it is, and he's going to take it to some. He's taking it to some amazing heights in in uh, 2017. But that I'm going to be on the same runway with these wonderful designers, it's just amazing to me, and I consider it just a blessing. And I give it up. I give it all him the credit for it because without him. I know it wouldn't be possible. Mm. What separates you from other designers? Me. (laughs) My personality. Um, I think we all have our own unique style and calling, but I like to think that it's my approach and my personality. Um, You know, a dress is a dress, but the difference with a Faith Diva dress is that when it actually leaves our studio, that dress has not only been put together, but it's actually been prayed over. Um, That's something that we actually do um, for every garment that goes through our hands. Now, people always ask me, well, as you grow, do you ever think you'll take that element away? I I don't want to ever lose that. I never want to lose or step outside of the vision that God gave me. It has to stay the way it is. Um, Last year, we actually had a company approach us about manufacturing um, our jewelry, and they were going to take it and and go overseas with it. And I did not want to do that because I didn't want to lose that personal touch over it. I mean, I didn't want it to be just another piece of jewelry. Mm -hmm. Um, Because in itself, Faith Diva to me is absolutely, it's a ministry for me. I mean, like I told you guys earlier, I had a, a lady, um, a diva from Jordan in, in the studio today, and I got to sit there and talk to her. It was her second time for a fitting, but when she came back, she actually bought me some prayer beads from Jerusalem. Oh, wow. cool. And gave me prayer beads from Jerusalem. And it's when things like that happen that, you know, I realize, okay, God, this is exactly where you want me to be. This is where I'm supposed to be at this point in time in my life. It may not look like I would want it to look, but it looks like you want it to look. And that's the main thing. Yeah, that's the key. That's awesome. That is the key. That's cool. I love um, another thing that I know only because I know you like, you know, personally, (laughs) which I I love that. But um, what about like your labels? Uh, You know, you your even your labels are different. They are. They're Go ahead and talk about those. <laughs> just to, I mean, See, just you have inside information. Yeah, uh, and we've actually we've changed our up packaging close and too. Personal. Yeah, well, but, you know, <laughs> this is my coffee buddy over here. Yes. <laughs> it's been a minute, but we we need to we I need know. to get on that. Ti- I, we really do. Um, every <laughs> does every garment has uh, two labels. Our label, and then it has blessed. Um, so you know that it that garment has actually been spoken over. 
so every and dress that's comes with awesome. two labels. I love that. <laughs> See, isn't that a cool feature? I think it's a cool feature because you know it's just like a double blessing. <laughs> well, you, you, it's not something that you hear every day coming from either mm. a jeweler or a clothes designer. I mean, you just well, you're not supposed to talk about God about and that. fashion, okay? You're not supposed to talk to him any, about him. I anywhere. hear that all the time. That's what I they. That's what. That's a known. That's a known I thing. Know. Care. But <laughs> I don't care either. Like that's that's what makes our company different too. Like with the, <coughs> in the fashion industry, um, just everything about it. But um, I love that about your collection. That's what's going to bring even, longevity. I won't change it. Um, even when I told you about the cons- the uh, company that was Summit Manufacturing Overseas, their suggestion was, hey, um, you need to probably look at changing your logo because most people know my logo is a, a cross mm-hmm. with my face on the side and then so you know i was like mm, no you, you, <laughs> no that's not that's like a non-negotiable <laughs> i'm not yeah. changing my logo because you can't separate faith diva from christ i i can't do that and then i've been so blessed with um there's seven divas that we have and one that is just uh, my sister near and dear to me in my heart my executive brand ambassador i have to give her a huge shout out and credit because um she is my biggest supporter um, and I guess one of my biggest fans, but I can always count on her. Even when I have a bad day, mm-hmm. she keeps me focused. Yeah. <laughs> she keeps me focused uh, and, and on target. And uh, that's Kendra uh, Pipkins, and she's absolutely amazing. And um, it's amazing how, you know, you may not, God may not birth you in the right family or the right but he sure will send you the people that you need in your Mm -hmm. life and so that's exactly what he's done with my husband you know my sister Kendra and and the divas that walk for me they're all just such a blessing and and getting to know them through this journey has absolutely been amazing that's awesome um so talking about the pin show again what's the name of your collection for the pin show are you ready for this are you ready for this it's actually called the fall of man I'm excited. Wow. That's <laughs> really powerful. <laughs> <laughs> the collect yes, it's the fall of man and uh I, I don't want to give anything away, but I'm very, very proud of this collection. I think that um, by far, this is probably one of the best collections that we've actually put out. It's going to be a little bit different than what people are used to seeing from us. So uh I'm excited. I am just beyond excited <laughs> <Could you laughs> awesome. tell us like what your inspiration for it is the whole story uh, I started from Genesis and went all the way up to um, Revelation so I'm, I'm oh, okay. excited wow. so that's where I pull from so it tells a story and for those of us that are, are readers and, and, and we'll, you'll be able to tell the see story it. you'll be able to see the story in the that's clothes. cool yeah. but hopefully I mean the thing is is for what I think about it is that you're going to get people so curious that's through your fashion that it'll make them want to figure out what it's about. And that's like, exactly, what is that? that's exactly Isn't the way cool? I, he's awesome. <laughs> he's just Cause so that's cool. exactly the story. Uh, my husband was uh, picking at me and saying, why are you, you, you just stressing so much over the names and everything? Cause I'm praying and I'm like, I want I, the Lord's got to give it to me. He says, just, just put it. I'm like, no, you don't understand. Yeah. I want people <laughs> to be curious about it. So they look, Yep. Mm-hmm. And not only that, when people see me, and for those of <coughs> individuals that know my story, and they could say, oh, she can still smile, I want them to know who it is that gives me the joy that's in my life. I want them to be curious about him so that they'll, they'll know, hey, I want some of what she has. So that's what I'm hoping. And you hit the nail on the head when you said that. I want them to <laughs> look it up, you know. Who is who is Sarah? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who what does she this? do? Who's Deborah? What does she do? Yep. Exactly. What is your ultimate goal from being in the show? Actually, just what Regina basically said, and that's to uh, people that don't know Christ to get to know him. Mm-hmm. Find out whose story I'm telling and why I'm telling it. That's what I want to get out of the pin show. I know that sounds crazy, but that's exactly what I want to get out of the pin show. No, that's not crazy at all. Mm -hmm. That's the way. It's not. That's (laughs) what I love about you. I love that. And you're just staying so true to what you believe in. No no matter what Mm -hmm. everyone else says you should or shouldn't do. Exactly. I have to. 
I'm because, excited to see it. You know what? <laughs> I want y'all to be there. I'm excited we're gonna to be see there. there too. <laughs> yeah, we're I'm gonna be there, to there for sure, for sure. You know what I've learned? Um, Angelica. I'm gonna get it right because I used to call her Angelica. Is that <laughs> it doesn't matter what people say about you. Only God's opinion of you is what matters at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And that's what I tell my boys each and every day. At the end of the day, if what you've done, you know, your father can be proud of you, then it really doesn't matter what anybody else says. Exactly. That's it. And if you live your life that way, that's it. You don't have to worry about anything else. That's good. You're keep right. your part. I said, keep your priorities straight, and you'll never have to worry about tying yourself up in knots. Exactly. <laughs> <Like that. laughs> that's it. So I'd love talking to you about your line and everybody. Why don't you go ahead and give everybody all your social media so people can follow you and go check out your website. Yes. Go to uh, www.faithdiva.com. You can follow us on Instagram at faith.diva uh, and then on Twitter. Yes, I have a Twitter at faithdiva1. I got Wonderful. it all. And Facebook. Now I got to figure out how to use Tumblr. So John Anthony's going to teach me how to use it. I bet he knows how to use it. I don't even know what Tumblr don't really use is. It. You don't use it? I use it. I don't even know you what Tumblr use is used yeah. for. What is it? It's I a blog. Know. It's like a blog, but I mean, just posting pictures and stuff on it with all your stuff, people will start following you with the right hashtags. Really? Okay. Yeah. I'll have to get with you. That's a coffee day. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I don't that's know what you use Tumblr. Day. That's a coffee if that's date. what I got to use to reel you in to c- <laughs> come out of your yes. little... Your little my um, sewing machine yes, is going nonstop. Okay. <laughs> After we turn in our designs this weekend, I will have a little bit of time left and coffee. <laughs> Wonderful <laughs> coffee. I'll be able to lift my head up and stop walking on the house full of thread. So we'll be okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So I want to play a quick game with you before we get off okay. the air because time is running out. Unfortunately, um, it's called Would You Rather. So the first one: <laughs> Would you rather be a design assistant to Carl Lagerfeld of Chanel? Or Betsy Johnson, and why? Definitely Carl. Why? Because I, I always did like Coco Chanel. I like their clothes. They're timeless. Yeah. Yes. And um, it's just the epitome of class. I, I think of Audrey and Marilyn, and I'm some of their. They're my. I'm their yes. fan. I'm big fans of theirs. <laughs> yes. That's a no-brainer. So would you rather be able to design with black and white materials only or color materials without ever using black or okay. white? Anybody that knows me knows the answer to that. Look at me. What do you think <laughs> the answer is? Black and white. <laughs> black and white. <laughs> yes. I'm having to make myself design in color. <laughs> yes. Okay, John Anthony. Would you rather be able to design a room with only a radio? Or only a TV without sound? Radio. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's Radio. Uh, that's that's easy. Easy. All day. <laughs> no, it's yeah. not because, well, yeah, mm-hmm. because some people are visual uh, uh-huh. like that, that they would just rather right. see it. Right. Okay. So this is the last one. Would you rather be able to go to Paris for Fashion Week or New York for Fashion Paris. Week? Paris. Why? <laughs> just because I've always wanted to go to Paris and I really think that's the fashion capital. <laughs> I mean, that's the place to be is Paris. Yeah, and agree. I'm going to, we're going to go to Paris. I'm going to be Claim in Paris. It. Oh, yes. Claim I'm it, putting it out it. there. Do Just got to get over my fear of flying, but I'm going. I love <laughs> flying. <laughs> no, we rebuke that fear yes, right now. Yes, in the name of yes. Jesus. Uh, I've already had my doctor prescribe me pills for going to New York. So we're good. you're so cute all right well it's been a pleasure interviewing you and getting to know you um if you're just tuning in we just interviewed uh uh, tina peters king um of faith diva and she's going to be walking or she's going to be showing in the pin show on february 18th make sure you go and purchase your tickets today if you haven't already go check it out you're going to want to see these designs in your collection name again the fall of man you want to see this collection you do not want to miss this no you definitely do not um but we will be having the archive posted within a week so don't don't worry you have not missed it for sure so anyhow y'all stay tuned to jar radio on the fishbowl radio network we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back at the top of the hour with love past blue Jar radio is live with john anthony angelica and regina 
when you're live on Jar Radio in the Fishbowl Radio Network. I'm your host, Angelica. This is your host, Regina. No, I'm John Anthony. And we, if you're just now tuning in, we just now got done interviewing um, Tina Peters King of Faith Diva. Uh, she's an amazing designer. She's going to be showing in the Pin Show, which is one of the longest running, most popular fashion shows in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Um, y'all have to go check that out. It's going to be on February 18th. So get your tickets today. You can find them everywhere on every social media platform there is. Um, so now we're live in the studio with an amazing young, um, talented group called Love Pass Blue. So why don't y'all go ahead and introduce yourselves? Hi, I'm Cleo Cadence. I'm Sam Nestor. I'm Jack Hickman. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you guys. Hi, Joe. Joe, let me hear your voice better. I could barely hear you. I'm Joe. Nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. We're so excited to have y'all in the studio finally. We've been waiting for y'all to come on. Um, it's been a while, you know, that we've been preparing for y'all to come on, and we're excited um, to have such a talented young group in the studio. So why don't you go ahead and um, tell us y'all's ages, because y'all look so young. How, how old are y'all? Uh, Jack, our guitarist, he just turned 14. Oh my goodness, he's 14 too. I'm 16. Who is I'm? Sam. Sam. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and this is how we're going to do it. We're going to do it again. First, I want you to start. Tell me your name, age, and what you play or what you what's your part in the group. Okay, I'll start. Oh, well, okay. I'm Sam Nestor. I play drums for Love Pass Blue, and I am 16 years old. Perfect. I'm Jack, I play guitar, and I am 14 years old. I'm Cleo Cadence, and I'm the lead singer for Love Pass Blue. I'm 15 years old. Hey, I'm Joe, and I'm the bass player for Love Pass Blue, and I'm 17 year old, years old. Oh, wonderful. And you look like one of the younger ones, <laughs> <laughs> doesn't he? That's good. Do you get that a lot? No? <laughs> yeah, I, I get that a lot. No, he doesn't. <laughs> he wishes he got it a lot. Well, <laughs> all that matters is that he does, and you're going to appreciate that later in life, I promise you. Thank you. <laughs> yes, that's all that matters, right? Okay, so why don't you, um, Cleo, why don't you take charge on this, since you are the lead singer and you are the beautiful lady, and it's all ladies first. Okay, <laughs> so um, what type of music do y'all sing? We do alternative rock music. Okay, and Ooh. what w have y'all always wanted to do alternative rock? Has it always been a group effort, or... Is this the type of music you grew up with and that you like, or wh how no, what made y'all start singing this? I really enjoy pop music, and the boys really enjoy alternative music and rock, and we all enjoy metal, too. So uh, we enjoy lots of different types of music, but we like to play alternative rock. Wonderful. Go ahead. I see you have something to say. <laughs> okay. No? No, that's okay. Okay. Um, so uh, do you all like to dance? No. I like to dance. Do I'm you? I'm yeah. not a big fan. I do. Scene. Awesome. Yeah, so Joe what kind of likes to jump around on the on the stage with his bass, like <laughs> like a bunny <laughs> rabbit. I don't know if you can call that dancing. Well, hey, you have a good but time, you know, right? Counts. Yeah, absolutely. That's it's wonderful. It's the thought that counts. It's very entertaining. I'm pretty sure to see on stage. It is. People love it. Yeah, yeah. a lot of I the fans I love do. it. I know. I do. I know. I, I love it. It's, it's better than seeing people just stand there. Unless it's like <laughs> good music, in which case, then seeing people stand there is better than seeing a bunch of hacks just go up there and play and look really cool. Yeah. Have you heard of Flea from the Red Hot Chili Peppers? I love yes. Flea. Yes. I, I, I love the Red Hot Chili Peppers. I jump around like him. I think so. that yeah, is he, fun. He looks like Flea on the stage. <laughs> well, then that's <laughs> exciting because that's why I like them. That's, I, I, I like them. Yeah. Go ahead. So who would you say that some of your three favorite music artists or groups are right now? Well, first off, I'd like to mention this band known as Incubus. I, I love Incubus. I've seen them in concert <laughs> twice. Brandon is my favorite. They're absolutely amazing. Yes, definitely. I don't like their new bass player as much as I like their old one, but they're still really good. Yes. I love No Doubt. Oh, I, I, I do miss too. No Doubt. Gwen Stefani is one of my biggest inspirations. Oh, yes, definitely. I can see that. Uh -huh. I can see that. I can too. <laughs> I just mentioned the Red Hot Chili Peppers. They're one of my favorite bands. Wonderful. Red Hot Chili Peppers are the best. Really. Yeah. <laughs> I'm into Red Hot Chippers and Incubus, actually. And Rush. We can't forget Rush. Can't no, forget can't. Rush. We That's awesome. We like that style of music. I love all kinds of music. Yeah. Alternative rock is something that I've like really listened to since I was a lot younger in my 20s, early 20s. Y'all don't even know how much older I am now. But anyhow, <laughs> I've been listening to them for a long time, watching them in concert, partying, and I, I love alternative rock. So I'm really excited about y'all's music. Um, go ahead. 
When and where was your first performance, and how did it make you feel? Uh, for the three of us, me, Joe, Cleo, and Sam, our first performance was at this Mexican restaurant called Ponchos and Lefties. Ponchos. Dude, you can't <laughs> say the name. Come on now. <laughs> I've never heard. I, mean, I haven't. I know Ponchos was still around. No, it's not Ponchos. It's, it's called Poncho, Poncho and Lefties. Lefties. Yeah. It's th- oh, it it's not the buffet. No. no oh, no. okay. <laughs> and uh, it was a, an interesting show. Yeah. Yeah, we. Were, hey, I was gotta pretty start nervous. somewhere. Yeah. It yeah. So, 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 how did it make you feel? Like, how, I mean, is that is that when Cleo? So how did it make you feel? Did it make you feel like, I want to do this again? You know, I've always wanted to be in a band. I've always wanted to be in a band since I was little. Um, I always wanted to be like the band Boston. And um, (laughs) I was like, I want a band when I grow up. Like, that's what I want to do. And when I found the boys, and we just all had this connection. And every time we perform, it's a real experience uh, connecting with the audience and just having a fun time. Awesome. This little girl is so pretty. Watching you. <laughs> you're you. just such a young, beautiful talent. I love this. I love having y'all here. Um, so do any of y'all play sports? No. <laughs> no. None of you Music y'all? is our life. Jack swims. That's about it. That's a sport? Yeah. That's a hard sport actually. Yeah. So wha- are difficult. you like are you like in like competition? Swim? Yeah. Really? Oh wow. Not as much though, because he plays music. Yeah, I've had to skip a lot of practices for this, oh, but this okay. is this is my main goal this is your passion yeah that's cool that's really awesome that's a hard sport and uh, i play an e-sport but it doesn't really count i play <laughs> smash melee <laughs> do you know what that is john anthony no <laughs> no the e-sport does that mean like internet yeah it's an internet game. it's a video game oh oh my goodness oh i'm surprised goodness. john anthony doesn't know what i know that kind of doesn't count as a sport but it kind of does it totally <laughs> does people have made millions of dollars on that game as my brother would say, you get to work out your fingers and thumbs all day. Of course. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So as a group, um, I'm pretty sure y'all have had to think about when you're branding yourself and y'all's name. Um, where do y'all see yourself in like the next five years? I really want to go on tour and I want to record a full album. Wow. I Love like it. that. Yeah. I'm a, a lot more concerned with recording a full album and putting it out there than I am with going on tour. But going on tour would be awesome. I love performing. That's awesome. I think in the next couple years, maybe not five years, we're gef- definitely going to release an album. But I think w- definitely within five years, we, we'd be able to go on tour. I love that ambition. Wonderful. Ma- maybe not as soon as a year or two years. but mm-hmm. You never know what's in I mean, store. things can happen. Yeah. I mean, yeah. even yeah. in five years, who knows? Maybe you can have like a line of t-shirts or something else that comes along with touring and merchandise that your fans actually really want. I think that's one of our goals is to really establish us ourselves as a band and a Mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. I love I noticed that y'all put up and I used it actually um, a logo. Is that new? Yes, I believe so. Somewhat new. Yeah. I love it. I love the roses. I love the aesthetics of it. I, I loved it. I used it today when I was like promoting y'all like that you're going to be on today. I loved it. Um, so great job with that logo. I'm, I'm all about the color and graphics and stuff like that. So our businesses. Yeah. So <laughs> I, I loved it. I was like, this is hot. I, I like it. And it's not real kitty. It's fresh for everybody, you know, it's so it's appealing to everybody. You. Exactly. You got to make sure things are timeless while you are doing this. That's what we try to do. We try to relate to everyone and build a huge audience. Well, that's wonderful because that's not smart. not all you know younger groups or just talent think about the longevity of things. So you are that's really a good thing of, that you're doing. Good mm-hmm. job. So do y'all have any upcoming events or anything that's that is going to be coming up that people can go and check y'all out at? Yes, we have a gig at the Kelt and McKinney, and shout out to the Kelt because they. Um, They have helped us get started, and we play there every month, and they are amazing. And we also have a gig in Terrell with Revolution. So if you go and like our Facebook page, Love Pass Blue, we have all the dates for our performances. And that's Love Pass Pass Blue all together, right? Yes, Love Pass Blue. Yes, so everybody, that's all together, three words. Um, And so why don't you go ahead and give us all your social media, and if you have a website, is it all Love Pass Blue? 
Yes, it's www.lovepassblue.com. And we have Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, Love Pass Blue. And also, there is a new social media. Um, it's called One Avenue, and we would love for y'all to check it out. There's a bunch of bands. They're just getting started, and it will have all the tour dates and um, what we're really about. Love Pass Blue on One Avenue. Wonderful. And that's past P-A-S-T, not P-A-S-S-E-D. Yes. Some people get that confused. Oh, a really? lot of people get that confused. Really? Huh. Oh, well, that's good for clarifying that. Um, wonderful. So we love talking to you and getting to know y'all a little better. We're going to go ahead and take a quick break and get y'all set up to sing. All right. How does that good. sound? Awesome. And you're live on the air with Jar Radio. If you're just tuning in, we have been talking to the amazing, talented young group called Past, P-A-S-T, Love Blue. Love past blue. What did I say? Past love blue. Yes. Have I been saying that the whole time? I am so sorry. Hey, don't hit your head like that. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're showing your age. Um, so it was love past blue. They're about to sing live. And what are y'all gonna be singing, Cleo? We're gonna be singing our first song off our EP, Love Past Blue. It's called Keep Running. Wonderful. Okay, so y'all go ahead and take it away. I didn't want to break Choices I didn't want to make We built this lie all the way up Feels like a nightmare can't wake up I keep on running Awesome. Great job. Wonderful, wonderful. So is that a um, self-written written song? Yes, we wrote that song. It's called Keep Running. All seven oh, of the wonderful. songs that we sent you are self-written. Yes. Oh, wonderful. It's called Original Music. Everything off our EP um, that was just released, Love Fast Blue. Wonderful, wonderful. So what is the next song you'd like to sing? Um, we would love to play uh, Consequences. Wonderful. So y'all go ahead and take it away. Backing up without any mirror I see the past and how I got here Reflections of 
memories burning up inside of me consequences we must choose your decisions are up to you consequences we must choose sometimes you win and sometimes you lose consequences erase what I've done wrong the past is the past and it's time to move on memory I can't undo inked on me like a bad tattoo consequences we must choose your decisions are up to you Consequences we must choose. Sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. I Wow, that was wonderful. I love that. So what was your inspiration behind that song? Well, that song, we actually all li love to play chess, the oh, game cool. chess. Mm -hmm. And we're all nerds. We all love to play chess. Joe got us started. And <coughs> that song is kind of just about consequences and what moves in life and what where they can take you, good or bad. Wonderful, yes, because everything you do in life, the people you're going to meet, the people, how you treat people, how you act around people, it's all going to, you're going to have consequences for everything you do, definitely. So you'll meet people that might help you. You'll meet people, you don't want to burn bridges and things of that nature because you never know how these people can help you out. Definitely. Right? So we're going to play a little um, game with you. Y'all can all answer. So it's called this or that. So we're going to say two things. And you're going to tell us which one you pick and why. Okay, so first, Coke or Dr. Pepper? Dr. Pepper for sure. Dr. Pepper. Uh, probably Dr. Pepper as well. What? I like Coke. I'm Coke <laughs> too. I had a feeling you'd be only one that was different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so football or hockey? Ultra Street Fighter 2. <laughs> football. Wonderful. I like football. Yes. I'd rather see hockey. Yeah. See, watching hockey is better in person, but actually on TV, I like football. Yeah, I, I think I agree with you on that one. Yeah. I don't like either one of them. <laughs> but That's live hockey like is sport. amazing, so. I like it both no, on TV and right. in person. Atlanta or uh, the Patriots? Patriots yeah. all the way. I'm, pan I'm Patriots. I want Atlanta to win. Who do you want to win? Who do you want to win the Super Bowl? Super Bowl? Uh... <laughs> I'm going to have to say Atlanta. That one team. They're really good. You know that one team that's really good? Yeah, that has I agree. A really that good one time. The, the, the yeah, one you know, team? the guys that are going to win. That's that's who I want to win. Yeah. Guys, yeah. yeah, those guys. They're really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Snickers or Skittles? Snickers. I'm going to go with Skittles on this one. Um, I like Snickers. Chocolate. Snickers <laughs> because of the chocolate as well. Awesome. <laughs> I, I'm Skittles. Uh, but I do like the Snickers, but if I had to choose, it's Skittles. What about you? See, uh, between the two, probably Snickers. Ah, Nikes <laughs> or Vans? Vans. 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 Converse. Yeah. yeah. Uh, see, that's what she's I about. Like but but she, he's Vans. Johnny that's Anthony's all Vans. That's what the three of us guys are wearing right now is Converse, <laughs> I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, really? Johnny Anthony. All <laughs> yeah, that's what we wear. Too. Yeah. That's what these two, Vans and Converse. Blue or green? Green. Blue. Definitely blue. My favorite color is turquoise. But you gotta say blue or green. So That's like both of the them. Middle. You're right. You're right. That's why I you get a you pass. Have to tell them you have to have them choose. Yeah. Okay. That's my color. So you have to pick one or the other. This is the ultimate <gasps> Superman or Batman. Neither, because Zack Snyder made Batman versus Superman and he ruined both of them single handedly. No, in one you movie. no no no. <laughs> He's so like John Anthony. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Like that's something my my son would say. Like you got to pick one or the other. 
Mm. Are you Superman or Batman? Batman. This is a tough one. <laughs> I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to pick. Superman you can, do it. can fly. Batman just bought his weapons. So I guess I'm going to have to go with Superman. Superman, yes. <laughs> I like Batman. Oh, I'm all Superman all the way. What about you, Angelica? Um, I don't have a preference. John Whatever. Anthony, <laughs> you got to pick one, huh? Yeah, he's yeah, Batman. He's on the Zack Snyder train, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't even, I don't even, uh, yeah. I just, I love Superman. I grew up with him. <coughs> but, um, okay, so that's that was a little fun with y'all. Um, I want to hear some more from y'all. So what do y'all want to sing next? Are y'all ready to sing? Do y'all need to take a water break? Are y'all good? I'm ready. Yeah. I'm but down. What are y'all going to sing? What's we're gonna do faded okay so why don't you give us um why don't you give us a little bit of history on the song and why you wrote it what brought y'all to r to write it and all that good stuff well um a couple years ago my brother passed away in a car accident so that was a bummer to me and it really inspired mm -hmm. me to just do something for him you know mm -hmm. i wasn't always super close with him but towards before he died he really like changed his ways and straightened up and then he died so it kind of sucked yeah but yeah, that's, that's i wrote this suck. song dedicated <laughs> for, for him oh i love that so it's called faded yes, yes faded wonderful i can't wait to hear it I wrote your name in the sand yesterday The tide came in and washed it away I had your face in a picture frame Took it down, tears fell like rain love that i love that a lot i just this last summer i i lost my best friend my mom um <laughs> passed away and uh yeah it's been really hard you know because she's my only parent and and yeah it sucks i know it sucks mage yeah <laughs> yeah major um but if you're just now tuning in we have been um having the privilege to be able to interview and get to know um, love past blue and I apologize for messing up your name no one told me I have like been sick I You're told y'all I've been all <laughs> a mess so I apologize for that but um, they've just now been singing for us you just sang faded what are the other two songs that y'all sang we sang keep running and consequences off our new newly released uh, EP love past blue and where can they go and buy that EP at you can get on Spotify iTunes and um Amazon Music. Wonderful. Y'all need to go out there and get that music because this is an amazing young group. I'm sure you're going to be hearing from them um, a lot more. So um, with that, we're going to take a quick break. And when we get back, we'll hear some more music from these talented young people. So stay tuned to the Fishbowl Radio Network in the Gray Bowl. 
And you're live in the studio on Jar Radio, and I'm your host, Angelica. This is Regina. And I'm John Anthony. And we have Love Past Blue in the studio. Y'all say hello and say your name if hello. anybody's just tuning in. Hey, I'm Joe. I play bass. I'm Cleo Cadence. I'm the singer for Love Past Blue. I'm Jack, and I play guitar. I'm Sam, and I play drums. Wonderful. Um, we've had so much fun talking to y'all and getting to know y'all. Y'all are so young and talented. Um, I'm excited to go and get your EP myself. Um, hearing y'all's music is just so mature for your age, but it can appeal to everybody, like you said. So I really like it um, a lot. So y'all make sure y'all go and buy their EP that's just been released on Amazon, Spotify, it's on iTunes as well. iTunes. Everywhere you can buy music, you can buy their music. Is it self-titled? Yes. Okay. Okay, so Love Pass Blue all together, and it's P-A-S-T. Were you just about to say that? I, okay. I, I was. Okay. Thank you for doing that. Lead <laughs> them to the punch. <laughs> You're welcome. So we're going to play a quick game with y'all, and then we're going to hear one more song from y'all after we play this quick game it's called would you rather so we're going to give you two things would you rather do this or would you rather do that they're going to be off an app so we're it's just random okay so there's no kind of no kind of uh something to our madness how do you say it okay method no, method. no, method, no to the method to the madness there that's the other word i was looking for <laughs> i was like i can't even think today this is so bad okay i just want it wheel of fortune okay yes you win no, no, ching 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 would you rather go back in time and meet your ancestors or go forward in time and meet your great grand yeah, great grand how are you supposed to say great grandkids. Great, great grandkids, yeah. Neither because that might alter the history the course of history itself. No, don't be And technical. I would rather not do that. Pickle. I'm gonna do this. So just, just <laughs> Okay. Yeah, it's, it's like the <laughs> there's like some it's like theory thing. where like if you go and mess things up then like what if Okay, you're don't not think even about there? that. Oh, Y'all don't choose think one. about that. Okay. Joe, tell well, me. Well I would go meet okay. my ancestors so that I could show them how much of a disappointment I am. I'd be like, <laughs> What? You mean Stop you're not it. working for this you. company? Aww. I'd go in the future. And meet your great grandkids? Yeah, yeah, to see how much of a disappointment they are. Oh, no. <laughs> Stop it, Sam. <laughs> Sorry. We're, we're, this is a positive <laughs> show. Positivity. I'm just kidding, guys. It's not. Okay. Don't take me seriously. Cleo. I think I would go back in time and see how like life was like, you know? Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. What about you? I'd have to go to the future. Would you? See your great grandkids? See yourself yeah. older? Sleeping. Cool. <laughs> Angelica? I mean, if I can go to the future, I wonder if I could see what I look like in the future. So, probably go in the future. <laughs> I don't <laughs> know if I'd want to see what I look like. I in know. The I don't Joe, think I'd you'd be do. dead. Oh, <laughs> no. Okay, next. I want to go back in time. Do you? Mm-hmm. That would be kind of cool to see your ancestors and all that good stuff. Okay, what's the next one? Oh. Mm, hang on. Would you rather only interact with males or only interact with females? Only interact with males. <laughs> Females cause drama sometimes. Yeah. Not to be sexist. That is true. Girls, like, I don't know, we fight a lot and we're... Guys, you know what? As when an adult... Fight, okay, now, hold it on. Makes sense. Guys the, the old person is talking in the room, <coughs> so y'all got to listen. You know what? As an adult, now that I'm older and I see and I've lived... Guys are more gossip, drama kings than ever. <laughs> girls can be girls can be catty, but gosh, working at a manufacturing company where it was mostly men and I was a production coordinator for this site, guys are shady sometimes. Everyone is shady sometimes. I mean, like it is. You girls just talk a lot, it's but fine, guys, when they fight, they just have fist fights. And it's quicker. If I answer Plus that question, I'd want to be around guys. It's dealt out quicker. And there are less girls that play melee than guys that play melee. So yeah. That play what? He's talking about the video. I'm talking game. About oh, the we're video talking about the e game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the e sport. It's I a, it's don't you don't have to call it that. It's just a video e-sport? game. E sport. <laughs> it's it's, li- it's it's literally just another name for video game. <laughs> what would you do? Me. Yes. <sighs> male. Okay. So it's male. Oh, Everybody oh, would be around. Of course you would. Nah, female. Female? Oh, yeah. oh, see, he's a yeah, lady. He, he likes love and compassion. Uh, she that. I love Joe. Oh, <laughs> she loves me. You hear that? I do. And he has oh a girlfriend. My oh my Get gosh. Curved, mate. <laughs> that could be my little boy. <laughs> I have a 23 year old daughter. Come on now. <laughs> I, I'm just okay. playing. 
You would go with females? Yeah. Now That's that right. you're seeing how these boys That's are right. acting? <laughs> no, we're just kidding. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> Let's do one more and then I want to oh, hear y'all okay, sing. Well, there's an ad. Brother snuck into sister's okay. room. No. Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather nice. be stuck in a broken elevator or be yeah, what, what, what? Would you rather be stuck in a broken elevator or stuck in a broken ski lift? Okay, I have a story about this actually. So freshman year at my school, I got stuck in the freight elevator for like thirty minutes during oh band class because no. we were taking percussion equipment down. And it actually wasn't that bad. So like, you'd be stuck in an I elevator. would much rather be stuck in an elevator than stuck in a ski lift, because there's this really bad movie about being stuck in a ski lift called Frozen. Yeah. <laughs> and it's bad. <laughs> There's no movie about an elevator now. Yet, not yet. Not yet. Sam. Hopefully, never. Because I would, now you uh, gave me now you gave me a, a story script that I can start writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. An elevator the horror guy, movie. The guy Ooh. stuck in the freight the freight um, <laughs> elevator Man at the stuck school. In a freight elevator. Yeah. At school with a bunch of percussion. <laughs> yeah, actually, there were there were two other guys in there with me though. So you'll it was be okay. by yourself in my script. Okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, well, I would rather not. Thank you. I'm just playing. <laughs> what would y'all do? What about y'all? I hate the cold. I love summer weather, so I would have to go with the elevator because I would be freezing. But what if the elevator is really cold? Oh. <laughs> this is not a game of what if. Yeah, yeah it totally is. It totally so, okay, is. Okay, I think everybody's going to do the elevator. What do y'all think? Elevator. Yeah, elevator. Yeah, elevator. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. we're going to have to cut our game short. Our time is almost out. I want to hear y'all sing y'all's last song. I really want to hear you sing. So, um, again, when we're going we're gonna to probably be fading out as, as the song comes to an end. But remember, um, you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. Go buy their music on every platform that you can buy music at. It's self-debut um, EP. It's called Love Pass Blue. And go follow, tweet, like all that good stuff on all their pages and um y'all stay tuned for the archive that'll be posted in a week so um with that what are y'all going to be singing and what is it give us a little history about it so this is called traveler <laughs> and uh jack has wrote the whole guitar part and he wrote oh. it um before we were a band and we kind of put music to it in words so this is traveler Awesome. Take it away. A fish in the sea I long to be Somewhere I've never been before To some it seems life is a dream Surely I'm not asleep anymore The windows open to the golden gate Light years passing a blur Traveler, traveler, traveler You can't undo the way time travels Sooner or later all unravels Everyone has their own goals Life is something you can't control Flying mm -hmm. ah. on the wings of fate The windows open to the golden gate Light years passing a blur Traveler, traveler, traveler Flying on the wings of fate The windows open to the golden gate Light years passing a blur Traveler, traveler, traveler Traveler, traveler, traveler 